Hey, us. Oh, Lord. Okay, well, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, current uh, release candidates, there are a bunch. Um, it's mostly the same group that we've been doing for a while. Um, the interest list viewer, we're still hunting crashes on. Uh, it's We're not 100% sure that... that uh, that the crash measurements are correct on that one. It may be measuring high. Um, not sure why that is, but it's a possibility that we're poking at. Uh, the fitted mesh viewer um, has gotten a, an, a, a refresh and it's going to get one more. Latif found a, a bug by code inspection that we don't actually have a repro for, but was clearly incorrect. So. Um, the fix for that is working its way through the pipeline and probably will be de uh, deployed on Monday. And at that point, uh, uh, you know, barring some other development, that will probably be the last um, update to that other than merging in some other viewer if something goes first. Um, HTTP is also doing very well in the release channel. It's probably the major competitor for being the next promotion um, at this point. Uh, maintenance is a, a relatively new candidate. It's the usual collection of, of uh, assorted bug fixes. And um, I, I'm not actually, I haven't actually looked at the details on that one myself. Um, been busy with other things. Um, Google Breakpad is making another appearance um, and it's, uh, doing much better. Again, we're trying to figure out ways of accurately comparing the results we're getting with that with other branches because we know we made changes to how it counts things, and so that's a little bit of a challenge. Um, there is a Merchant Outbox project viewer out there. Um, it's getting some use by people who had primarily by people who had reported the problems it is attempting to solve. So um, uh, I don't, I have not heard anything on how that's doing. So questions on any of those, the, the public visible ones? Yes, I'd like to know if anyone has successfully merge interest list into their view. I'm sorry, merged what? The interest list, uh, if you are interesting. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm pretty that's, sure that's a no from us. Okay. Thanks for the feedback. Um, okay. So other um, other pending things. Uh, Sunshine is. On the verge of putting out another viewer, I think it will go out first as a project viewer, but I'm not 100% sure of that. Um, but uh, that's got a collection of stuff, including support for um, 
more support for uh, AIS version three and a, a lot of assorted fixes and some more removing of old big code we're no longer using. Um, so that's that's in the pipeline and um, should appear next week, I think, in one form or another. Um, similarly, Oculus Rift is in what we hope will be final QA. Um, I, I haven't seen an an update on that, but that's uh, getting closer and closer. Um, we may actually end up holding up one or the other or both of those until there are fewer things in the release candidates, just because at some point having too many of them is unwieldy. Um, the There is also uh, the group bands fewer support. Um, I checked with Baker this morning because I knew I was going to be get, getting asked about this. And uh, he assures me that He's on the last stretches on that, and we'll be producing a project viewer um, shortly. So I don't know if that counts as next week or not, but um, I will be in San Francisco next week, and will and will convey your appreciation of getting that out. Yeah, sometime this year for sure. Want me to want me to lend you my uh, clue by four? <laughs> Uh, I, I, uh, I think I'll try beer as a motivator first. Okay, that works. Uh, anyway, so I think that's, I, I didn't really have any big agenda items this week. Have you looked into or know anything more about the uh, maintenance, uh, was that 3131, the one with the removal GPU table? Oh, uh, I, I can, I can, t I can give you the theory behind that one. Um, okay. I don't, I don't know how quickly it will evolve in, into the direction we, we hope it will. But the theory is that um, uh, Dave and Graham are sick of having to fiddle with updating the v GPU table. Um, it's it's a pain in the neck. It's Everybody agrees that it's not a very effective mechanism of managing uh, GPU evolution. So the idea is to is to do two things. Um, ask the driver what version of OpenGPL, OpenGL it supports and, and use what capabilities there are that can be relied on to find that out. Um, and then to measure the performance of the GPU by doing a series of memory bandwidth tests, basically copying big blocks of video memory back and forth a few times uh, and seeing how long it takes. Um, the theory is that that ends up being as at least as good a predictor of what the GPU is capable of as we're currently getting by the guesses in the GPU table, um, and and maybe better. Um, uh, so. Um, What's what I believe what's in that commit right now is just something that adds doing a, the memory bandwidth test, and I suspect it's also recording that fact somewhere, um, uh, the results somewhere. And so the idea is that we can we can use once that's out in the field, we can use that to look at um, how well it measures the performance of things we think we understand the performance of and and whether or not and then we can make a judgment about whether or not we can um, just take the GPU table out altogether no longer well I mean we'll still we'll still pick up what the string is and log it but 
uh, we won't use it right. to make any decisions. And will they be updating the detection code to remove like the reliance on direct X or such? Um, you, you cannot really determine the GPU type in a string in manufacturer on Windows without using uh, DirectX. And that's the only thing that it's used for, really. I know. I was kind of hoping that, you know, one less package to try and download and install. Yeah, I understand, but, but I've looked into it and there is no really reliable method of doing that on Windows without uh, calling DirectX. Is anyone surprised? I'm surprised it's not in OpenGL. Even if it was, Microsoft wouldn't implement it reliably. But it's not in OpenGL. Even even on Linux, uh, you know what VWare does? It it grabs through the the X uh, log file to figure out the string. The um, yeah, I mean the the philosophy that OpenGL took was that you're supposed to be able to just ask OpenGL what it can do and 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 then do it and not need to know the identifier. Um, and frankly, I think that's a pretty good philosophy. It, it hasn't been our experience that asking OpenGL drivers what they can do doesn't usually produce very useful answers. So uh, we're hoping that just doing this memory bandwidth test will 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 prove to be a pretty good proxy for what the performance of your GPU is. Okay. So, or at least as good as what we're currently accomplishing by making guesses based on strings returned by buggy software drivers. Uh, I... I don't know whether that would be done each time or or not. Um, and I expect it would be, in any event, I expect it would be done when you launch the viewer, not when you log in. But I haven't actually checked. Um, one possibility would be that we only do it when the GPU identifier string has changed, um, since we keep that anyway. Um, but I... I don't actually know whether they did any of that in the in the current code. It would seem like a good optimization, though. The server cannot store negative offset values for materials textures. Is this going to be changed. Oh. Yeah, I don't um I don't remember what the status of that is. Um yeah. I I know you had asked about that before. Um you can make it in the interface. You don't need server to do it for you. Because negative offset is just, uh, you know, subtracted from one and you get a positive one. So when you when you enable synchronizing, instead of saying offset is minus 0 0.2, change it to offset 0 0.8 and problem solved. Yeah, uh, uh there was there was actually somewhere else where there was a, a value that wasn't wasn't transiting through the server correctly. Uh, I'll go back um, and rummage around in the in the in the Matbug data and track down what the what the status of the server side changes on that are. I'll be I'll be meeting with the the maintenance team. They 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 own that stuff now. Um, I haven't heard any update on the lead motion support. Actually, that's being done by open source devs, and I haven't haven't heard anything. Yeah, I I have a leap motion controller sitting here on my desk. I haven't done anything with it yet. Uh, 
I'd love to play with it. Someday I hope to have a, a leap motion and a production version of the of the Oculus Rift and then be able to do everything keyboard free. How about that for ambition? The last I heard, uh, the biggest problem that Cinder ran into was with Linux. And she was in touch with the uh, Leap Motion people. Z is now uh, sort of taking a look. Z Rees taking a look at the uh, Linux issues, I believe. I think they gave us a, or put out a new Linux package that fixed the crash on Exit. Right. Um, yeah, I, I I haven't gotten any I haven't gotten any updates on any of that, unfortunately. You're not going to tell me this is going to happen two weeks in a row where we have a quick meeting here, Osh. Well, two meetings in a row? Well, uh, you know, it's uh, not something I can I can uh, do much about. I mean, I, I didn't come with my very much to say. Um, was Then was it that you are taking this uh, crash reporting slash statistics uh, training that's that's what I'm going to San Francisco for next week. So, yeah, I hope we can get to some reliable stats out of that. Yeah, it, and th I I am completely baffled by, um, you know, what we're seeing on Singularity, and even more baffled by the fact that we don't see anything equivalent on any other viewer, uh, which is something I I spent some time digging into pretty carefully the other day but i'm what i'm hoping to do is to completely replace the um the old report that i'm using to generate the stats that are coming out odd um with an entirely new one and i i suspect that the new one won't have that artifact but but we'll find out so yeah that's that's definitely uh there i have i have two big agenda items for going to San Francisco and, and the reporting is is uh, is one of them. So, and no, I won't tell you what the other one is. Um, so we have uh, released a new version of Singularity a couple of days ago and we have included fitted mesh report, including that little patch of ours that fixes the potential, you know, rain index problem. Right. And so far, so far, so good. We don't hear any screams of people saying it's broken. And so it, it's working fine, it seems. That's great. That's that's good to hear. Um, um, would I be correct in that you're waiting on learning or the feedback from the new stat report for uh, information regarding my installer changes? Yeah, that's that's basically the problem. I, um, right now, people are asking me how many people is this going to affect if we if we do it. And um, absent a new report on the platform stats, uh, I don't have an answer to that question. So um, I'm I'm hoping that that we can we can we can pull uh, that out um, and and. Uh, if nominated for CEO, I, I will not run. If appointed, I will not serve. It's, uh, it's not a job I, I aspire to or want or would accept. For one thing, I wouldn't be able to come here and hang out with you every other week. 
feedback from you later to, before I make any more changes. Yeah. Okay, so is is that it? Are we actually going to be done in less than a half an hour? This is almost unprecedented. I blame it on uh, the Firestorm support team. Our meeting was quick, too. It's because Jess isn't here. Yeah, let's blame it on Jess. Yeah. Oh, well, if we do that, I'll also be emailing her and say, Jess, stay away. <laughs> Never. Where is she? Why, why she is she not uh, wanting to hang with us anymore? Uh, she's really busy in RL right at the moment. She's got a lot on her plate in RL. Just had to do a major hardware upgrade. Well, minor hardware upgrade. Okay, well, you have a half hour back. Have a good weekend, everybody. Oz's weekend starts early. Woohoo. Yeah, not quite yet, but we'll see. Thanks, Oz. Adios, everybody. And say hi to Baker for me when you see him. I'll do that. Bye-bye. <laughs> And poof. <laughs> <laughs>